Hey guys, um, as I've been saying lately, or uh, I don't know, but my my long shot has needed some sort of integration because um, like when I'm changing clips or after my clips are done, I'm pretty vulnerable, and I need something to obviously protect me uh, if I get rushed or anything because um, I just feel the need to, and uh, I don't know. So uh, here's what I did. Well, me and my friend Shadow Archer, he's on Nerf Haven. He goes to the Bath Wars, uh, so, yeah. Integrated the Titan. And, uh, really nice. It gives a nice weight to the gun, and it's still very, very, very nice and easy to carry. It's lighter than the Decimator I made a while back. Um, pretty weird. But, the long shot. It's the same one, the Angel Breach, the Big Bad Bow Spring, uh, the Cut Off the Tactile Rail. I put the Jam Door on just because the the bolt sled has been massively reinforced with Epoxy Buddy and um, Coat Hangers, like uh, Draconis, and then Epoxy Buddy um, on the insides of the L and the outsides of the L. And it's got like an 8 inch barrel. Next is the uh, Titan. And I don't have the show on, I don't have the, uh, uh, screw on cap, but I'll get to that in a second. So the Titan has obviously been minimized here and here. These follow, uh, ridges in the actual plastic, so the cuts are very clean. I used a hacksaw and smoothened it up with a Dremel, uh, cutting bit and sanding bit. The, uh, pump, uh, this is, like, this is where the handles of the Titan are, and this is where the sight is of the Titan. Oops, sorry, guys. And uh, so the pump originally would go this way, and you'd pump this way to load up the Titan. So what we did was we used um, this tubing. Actually, originally went to another check valve where it would pump up the Hornet when you would hook up the Hornet. So uh, what we did was we took that tubing, we ran it up into the Titan's chamber uh, pump um, tank and then um, there's another spot right here where the this this spot or wait this spot right here went originally to the Titan this one went to the check valve well we switched it and then um, the Titan had excess tubing that went to a pressure gauge which everybody knows like doesn't really work but um, so we cut that and filled up those two holes with hot glue. So, uh, you see, it works uh, quite flawlessly. The pump is not plugged. There is a section of CPUC going to about right here, and it's been glued in. And uh, it's been hot glued in. And then I CPUC cemented an elbow and T, uh, obviously, to make a grip. And, uh, what I might do is, I got this idea from GC Dominator, but what I might do is put another elbow, and then have it go, and then have another grip, and then, I don't know, that might be easier to pump, because I don't have the longest of hands, longest of arms, excuse me, and, um, yeah, this is the original Titan tubing, so it's possible, it's not hard, we didn't have tubing, so we just, uh, they do. The Titan has the uh, air restrictor removed, and the shell has been filled with like three CPVC barrels. They're like six inches long, and uh, they're airtight. They've been gooped in and not glued together. And uh, this is not how I'm going to be using it in the war because this would take way too long to reload. So what I'm going to do is have, uh, this is a shell he gave me, he, he has a long shot Titan, and he, like, one and one fourth inch PVC coupled it to accept shells, and I'm gonna do the same thing, um, uh, actually, I'm pretty sure I'm going to the hardware store today, but, um, so what you do is you load, uh, one dart into each of these, slap into the coupler, pump, I'll, I'll just show you how many pumps it takes to fill the overpressure valve, so, uh,
about 12 pumps, 12 to 15 pumps, um, depending on the pump stroke, because if you go too far out, like, the pump can come out. So, um, and then, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can see the smoke, um, but it's very powerful. It'll send, um, three darts about, a about, uh, like, useful range, about 60 feet, uh, but max range, it can probably hit, like, the 70s, maybe. Um, there's, there's a difference between the actual range of a gun and the useful range of it. Um, if a gun's getting 100 feet flat, it's probably about 90 feet usable, because, um, the last 10 feet is, or 15 feet is when it starts to uh, really slow down and like start to you know drop but uh, yeah this is my shell for right now uh, it's fine I mean I'll just blow three darts ram run them in and I get a nice spread uh, it's probably about a seven foot spread but what I'm gonna do instead of using CPVC on these shells I I'm gonna get some PETG from uh, Bob uh, he goes to our back horse. He doesn't sell to anybody on Nerf Haven. Um, and then if I have PETG in here, uh, it'll be easier to load, and I might even be able to fit a fourth barrel in. And um, and since it, it's going to be my air gun barrel material, I'll be able to shotgun load darts easier. So I'll, I can put like two two in each one, and it'll still get like the same ranges. So that means six darts going about 60 feet. That's uh, a pretty good anti-rush gun. And the other cool thing is the Titan still has its clip. So I just have this uh, Night Finder laying around. And uh, and it clips on. And then um, I don't know if I can actually prime it. Yeah. It, this only has like a, an added spring on it and a coupler. But if you see now, if I get desperate, I can just take that off and you know, fire, but, um, I'd probably use, like, a Maverick if I were to use a gun on here, just because, you know, the Maverick, you can go like that and fire, uh, yeah, uh, so that's my long shot Titan, again, the Titan gets ranges, usable ranges of about 60 feet, and I'm gonna one and one fourth inch coupler it, or one and a half, it's, it's either one and one fourth or one and a half. Uh, and then the long shot's awesome. So that's not all I got from him. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. See ya.